welcome 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 and today we have a special guest uh we're just gonna pretend like nothing happened and everything went perfect first of all so we don't know what happened everything was going perfect so with us today is actually nat levan um who is going to be demoing his game to us one card wonder by ape games so hello nat thank you for joining us Hello, thank you for having me. I'm glad to be here with no computer problems whatsoever. <laughs> I I didn't see any computer problems. Did you, John? Uh, uh I can't see anything. So <laughs> we're good. <laughs> All right, sweet. So I think we're good. I think we're good. Um so that uh <laughs> I think you I think I that, we haven't heard anything about the game yet <laughs> cuz we did not have technical difficulties, I swear. So we're good. <laughs> Strong Body says, "Welcome back." Oh, thank you, Strong Body. <laughs> um, so, Nat, do you want to talk a little bit about your game? Maybe show us how it's played. Uh, yes, absolutely. Uh, One Card Wonder is a uh, a game where we will be building the some of the better and lesser known ancient wonders of the world, and. As the title suggests, uh, we're going to be building those wonders on one card. But now, there's a little bit here besides that one card that we're going to be able to use to help us build that wonder. We're going to have some extra buildings that help us. We're going to have some leaders that are going to help spur us on to greatness. And of course, we're going to have our resources and our supply to with which we're going to build our wonders. And I can start off by uh, going over setup a little bit. Sounds good. Sounds good. Uh, we have here in the middle of the table, we have this setup card, which uh, is also going to become our general supply. But that's going to tell us uh, basically how many resources and wonders we're going to need during setup. Uh, I'll let everyone else uh, choose some colors here, uh, and I'll be happy to choose uh, whatever's left. But you're going to need these four of these obelisks in the middle in uh, a color of your choice. All right. I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go yellow because I'm already yellow. So I just pulled Yeah, them. I think that's... Uh... Yeah. You can grab them. You're going to need them uh, a little bit later on to help build some buildings. I can pick mine up and drag them a little bit closer. I'll take blue. And we've got some cubes here that would represent our five resources, which are. Uh, Stone, wood, metal, clay, and knowledge. Um, which one, which colors are which? Uh, we can see on the uh, setup and general supply card in the middle. Oh. That green is knowledge, brown is wood, orange is clay, gray is stone, and Blue is metal. Awesome. <clears throat> and for three players here, we have uh, eight of each of those resources that are going to go into our resource bag. Uh -oh. I want to put that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll move it over here. Let's, let's not put the rules into the resource bag. <laughs> Could they even go in the resource bag? Yeah, I'm sure it would. There we go. That's funny. I have a, I have a noob question. Yes. Um, how does one select everything and move it all at once? Uh, hold shift. Thank you. You're welcome. Sorry, continue, Nat. Uh, all right, so we've got our resources in the bag. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is proceed to uh, 
choose our player mats, which will also have our buildings on them, and our wonders. Uh, I'm going to draw out the appropriate number of wonders here, which again on, is listed on the setup card. Uh, and for three players, we're going to need to draw four wonders. If I can. Ooh, the Great Wall. The Chia Sophia. The Hanging Gardens. And oh. each of these is going to get two resources added to it as part of the setup to uh, help us choose which wonders we're going to want to take. Okay. I will work on here. Along with these wonders, we've got, uh, we're going to need, while I'm setting up the uh, resources on the wonders, uh, you can both take uh, two buildings cards into your hand. So I've got two laid out here, uh, and everybody's going to need to take two and look at them. Mine just disappeared. <laughs> so did mine. <laughs> oh, no, there they are. There they are. All right. All right. So on these building cards, we have. Uh, a couple of different things. We've got up at the top a uh, is where we will be storing the resources that we collect. Uh, you can store up to eight resources and or coins. So uh, unlike uh, a lot of the times, coins count as part of your storage here. Okay. And so if you have too many coins, they will also fill that up. Uh, in the middle, we have a list of the four main actions that you can take in the game. And at the bottom, we have four uh, buildings that are related to uh, the, the central theme of each player map. And these buildings are going to have a build cost, and then they're going to confer various different abilities on you that may or may not actually help you to build your wonder as the game goes on. I'm going to choose one and uh, get rid of the other one, send it back to the deck. Quickly finish putting out the other resources on the wonders here. And of course, when you get uh, more familiar with the game, you'll uh, be able to make choices as to which uh, which of those two building cards you think is going to help you build a little bit better. Uh, obviously, for the first game, it's a little bit hard to know which buildings are going to come in handy. I will start if no one else minds. Uh, and so in reverse order, each of us is going to get to pick a wonder card and the two resources that go with it as their wonder that they would like to build. Cool. All right. Is there any uh, strategy to what I might take for resources? 
or what you might take? Uh, absolutely. So if we uh, zoom in on one of the wonder cards here, well, we can see that each of the wonders is composed of a number of uh, empty square or a number of squares up at the top that have resource printed on them. And those are the main resources that you're going to need in order to build each one of those boxes. Okay. And so the, the goal the, uh, to win the game, I need to build my my wonder, right? So yes, it is a race to build your wonder first, and pretty much everything else in the game is only there to help you get that wonder built. Okay. Okay. Uh, but we got a, a pretty fortunate looking distribution of resources here because we got a nice set of all the resources on the wonders will actually help towards building those those specific wonders everything's uh lined up fairly nicely there mm -hmm. uh, but that's certainly going to become something to focus on as the game progresses making sure you've got the right resources that you need to uh, complete your wonder and or complete the any of the buildings that you're working on. Uh, so Matt, if you want to grab a uh, wonder first. Yeah, um, I will. Hmm. <clears throat> this is tough. I'm trying to use my card. Uh... I guess I'll go kind of like how this is going, so I'll do this one. Okay, so I chose, uh, is this how I say it right? I don't know if I'm saying this right. Hagia Sophia, is that right? Uh, Hagia Sophia Hiya is Sophia? how I've heard it. Okay. Yes. Hello, Emotional Cyborg. Hey, Emotional Cyborg, what's up? All right, so I chose. So is it uh, your? It's John's turn, right? Because you're it's going. It's John's turn. You're now. gonna be going yep. first, Nat. Yep, perfect. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I might choose. Ooh, the Parthenon. I'm I'm gonna go for uh Ooh, the Great Wall. Hmm. That's tough. I'll I'll give this Great Wall a try. Uh -huh. Oh, there's a little note at the bottom too that we can use uh, different things, right? So cistern as an action, draw two resources. If there is any, there's no money or green, sorry, in the general supply. Oh, that's cool. Sorry, Nat. Oh, no, thanks for rushing, for uh, reminding me of that. Uh, yeah, each, so in addition to the four buildings that you've got on your uh, player reference board, and supply. Uh, there's that one building associated uh, specifically with your wonder. So my special building is the Terracotta Army, uh, which lets me use clay as any resource. Uh, but just like the buildings on the player supply, those have to be built before you actually get to use them. Mine is uh, prop Leia. Take any two resources from the general supply. Mine is cistern as an action. Draw two resources if there is no uh, green, which is knowledge, uh, in the t in the general supply. Okay, sweet. Right. 
that's that's very nice. So if you ever run into a condition where you need it and you can't get it, mm -hmm. you can just make that your turn. Hmm. Rather, yeah. These last two resources and the wonder card are going to go, resources will go back into our bag here. Wonder card can go back onto the deck. And now I'm going to need to uh, pull some resources to load up the general supply. And this is a little bit easier in a uh, physical version when you can just look into the bag and pull out the resources that you need. So... <laughs> oh, you have to pull out one of each? As a... Yep. Oh, man. I, I've got, I'm... I'm doing pretty well here. I got yeah. Oh, oh wow, look at that! Uh, <laughs> one in a row. All right. All right. Wow, lucky, oh, that's lucky. Lucky. That's day. my night. I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> it's like it do. That's weird. <laughs> All right. So that gets us uh, basically ready to start taking our turns. Uh, and now we can kind we can come back and take a closer look at the four actions that are listed on the uh, player reference card. Uh, we have four things that you can do on your turn, uh, and you get to choose one of them each turn. Uh, you can produce, which lets you pull three resources from the bag, and you actually get to keep uh, two of the pulled resources here. The uh, There's a note on Tabletopia that the uh, Player reference card is just slightly out of date uh, from the rules, but so the action is pull three, keep two of them. The one that you don't keep is going to go into the general supply. So as people pull resources, that general supply is going to uh, start filling up. The second action is then take all of the resources of one type from the general supply. So as it fills up, it's going to get more and more worth it to just grab that instead of going for the bag. And that's how you collect the resources from the general supply. Whenever you produce or claim resources, they're going to go into the spots at the top of your player's supply board. Uh, you can take more than you have slots for, but you can only keep uh, resources that you have room for. And any resources that you do not have room for on your player board are going to go back to the general supply. So um, if I'm... So, yes. so if you have like seven resources and then you drew and you drew two, um, can you switch out or no? It's only you choose the one of which you drew and then the other one has to go to the supply. I can't take one I already have in my stock and put it in the supply. Uh, you can. You can oh, choose okay. an, any eight of those resources that you want okay. and put the remaining ones in the general supply. Okay. Uh, keeping in mind again that coins will also go in that in your personal supply to take up space. Coins in this game are going to work uh, mainly as a wild resource, uh, but they're also involved in the costs of some of the buildings. Uh, for instance, I've got the black market as one of my buildings, and the cost to build that black market is going to be one coin. Oh, OK. Uh, building is the next action that you can take on your turn and i gotta refresh my memory just a little bit here but uh, when you take the build action you're going to pay the resources shown in each little block there and take a white cube for each of those blocks that you've paid the resources for. So you can 
uh, pay for multiple at once if you've got those resources in your supply and drop them down on your player board to show that you paid for and built those stages of the wonder. For the ones that have two resources, would that be two cubes on that space or it just cost those two resources to put one cube? Uh, it costs those two resources to put one cube. Okay. And you can see uh, a little bit better on uh, your two wonders there. There are little arrows that connect the different boxes. And so, uh, you know, logically, you have to build your wonder from the bottom up. And so you can only build a stage of the wonder if all of the boxes with little, little triangle arrows up into it uh, have already been built. Okay. Oh, I see it. Makes sense. Uh, in addition to building as many wonder st uh, stages as you want, uh, you can also, or instead, build up to one of the buildings you have. So the four on your board and the one on your wonder mat. So you're not going to be able to build all five because you've got only the uh, four obelisks there. But when you build one of those buildings, you uh, just like the wonder, you pay the resource shown at the top and drop your obelisk on it to show that you have now activated that ability. Okay. And where it shows the uh, little purple uh, circle with a question mark in it, uh, you can use any resource for those uh, to pay that cost. I don't believe anyone's got any uh, any strange cost requirements in there, so we should be good. Uh, if you have two of the wild resource icon shown, uh, they do not have to be the same. It can be any two resources. Nice. Um, the final action you can take on your turn is spelling. That's really the only way to get rid of resources that you have in your supply, uh, besides building, is that you can take pairs of resources and return it to the bag to take one coin. Uh -oh. I think I got kicked out. <laughs> uh oh. We, yeah, I'm like, what happened here? Oh, oh no. Nat, can you can Nat, can you still hear us? And I'm not sure if we're still uh live here or what's going on. Everybody has just dropped out of the uh Yeah, I think the game just dropped us out. The game room for me. Mm -hmm. There's a whole the whole Twitch stream let, uh went. The whole Twitch stream went. Yeah, we're not on so Twitch. So we're going to hang on a second, and hopefully they will come back. And I think your Nat's out, bro. Really? No, it can't be, because we can hear Nat. We'll be able to get this game There's a network way. error. That's weird. No, we're. I think we're still going, John. <laughs> <laughs> there's not right. there's nothing Twitch. on my screen for Twitch here. Wow, this is weird. And... Wow, is this really happening today? <laughs> but Nat, you can hear us, right? No, I can't hear you at all. You can't hear me. No. We're not like when we talk, we're not up here, you know? No, we're still going. I mean we're not going. No, there's nothing here, man. I can't hear you on my microphone. In my headphones. Oh yeah, my connection's gone really bad. I can see the connection. 
Oh, shit. Hello? Yeah, I'm still connecting. Whoop. Hello? Hello? Oh, I think we might be back. I am back. Matt is not. Some of the, uh, some more of those uh, technical difficulties we weren't having earlier. <laughs> yeah. I think we're back on Twitch too. Are we? Yeah. Wow. There we go. Okay. <laughs> this is just not our day. This is just not our day. John, I don't know if you have to mute me on your computer. What? Oh, I never mind. Myself. You muted yourself. You're good. You're yeah, good. yeah, we're good. Wow. Sorry, Nat. We, we lost connection. So. Oh, we were never gone. Okay. We're never gone. <laughs> <laughs> at at our computer, we couldn't see anything. It went black. Oh man, uh, this is just not our day. <laughs> yeah, all of a sudden, it would just uh, the the other hands disappeared, and it said everybody had left. Oh really? I, I didn't think I was doing uh, <laughs> that badly of uh, teaching the game. But... I think you're wrong. doing a great job, actually. I was just. <laughs> Marshall Cyborg says it sounded like it was not fun. <laughs> <laughs> were, were we swearing? No, I don't think we swore. Oh, man. Oh, I feel bad if we were. <laughs> we don't swear that much. <laughs> we don't, but sometimes I might drop uh, inappropriate words. <laughs> eh. Just once. <laughs> Just once. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay. So we're waiting on you, John, I guess. I'm in. You're in the game? Yeah. You're in Tabletopia? Yeah. I don't Yeah, yeah. I think I think we've got everyone. Oh really? I don't see John. Oh well, whatever. It's fine. I see your how oh, I see your mouse. All right, let's do it. Whatever. Let's do let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh mercy. Okay, so how do we play? Alrighty. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh I think I will probably skip the leaders for tonight, uh, but we have, I'll pull one off here just to see, uh, to show what that looks like here. But basically, in addition to all of these uh, buildings that we have to help us build our wonder, we have some uh, leaders, and every player is going to, this is more of a uh, advanced play feature once you're familiar with the basic rules of the game. It basically gives you a once in the game ability to uh, make a big play uh, that to really change the, uh, the course of history. Okay. Uh, but each of those is also going to have a way for the other players to uh, defeat your leader uh, by paying you a number of resources or coins. Uh, and so that's a really good way to uh, start mixing things up once you're familiar with the, the regular game. Try and make some big moves happen uh, when nobody's expecting it. Very cool. So just as a note, so we actually went through everything. Is the Kickstarter come with everything, including the leaders? Yes, the uh, the Kickstarter comes with, uh, I believe, everything that you see here. Uh, we've got the the great little obelisk shapes, uh, all the cubes that go into the bag, neat little coins, all the wonders, all the buildings, and all the uh, leaders that are on Tabletopia. Uh, I believe they might have some wonders or some leaders if the game does uh, incredibly successfully, uh, I don't know exactly what the plans are, but you know, there's basically you, you'll get everything that's shown here. I believe you get if you back it on Kickstarter. Awesome. When does that launch? Uh, latest I heard was uh, April twentieth. Nice. Nice. That's exciting. 
Or... Uh, that's that's very exciting. I've actually got a, a second game coming on the that same day to Kickstarter. Oh, cool. Uh, from uh, another publisher. Uh, that's going to be Aldabas from Grand Gamers Guild, but I'm not going to dig into that tonight. Uh, this one is all about one card wonder. Awesome. Awesome. All right. So I think we're ready to play, right? Uh, we are ready to play. All right. Let's I'm do it. I'm going to uh, grab this bag. Uh, and I don't know if we necessarily need to do this in the online version. It might uh, be a little more inconvenient, but in the uh, physical version, I like to use the bag as the active player token to show everybody whose turn it is. Uh, and that has a secondary feature because uh, when you're playing with more players, as we're all looking forward to doing soon, there's an additional aspect of the game which has allows you to trade resources with players. Oh, nice. However, you can only trade with other players uh, when it is not your turn. So if you've got the bag, you're either producing resources, building resources, or selling resources. So it really benefits you to try and take your turns quickly to shut down other people from trying to make good resource trades uh, while it's your turn. Uh, and that's one of the things that really keeps this game uh, moving pretty quickly. Cool. Cool. So we can't do so, that because we're in a three-player game? Sorry? Uh, we can't yes, trade. that's right. Okay. All right, let's roll it. And I'm looking for the uh, confirmation right here in the... Uh, yes, games with four players or, or more. Uh, and that's, that's mainly logistical because uh, with only two other players to trade... It's either just been your turn or it's just about to be your turn, and there really isn't enough time to, to make that happen. But I will officially start us off here, and I'm going to choose to produce a couple resources. I got some stone and some iron. I'm going to get rid of the stone and hang on to the iron. Put that in my supply, and that's the end of my turn. No. Nope. <laughs> oh, wow. Got some Tabletopia skills there. <laughs> um... You know what? I'm going to. Builds, I think. Just go right for it. Wow. So I put these back in the bag? Yes. Oops. All right, so my turn? Yes, yep. sir. All right, I'm going to build this <clears throat> lumber yard because it allows me to sell or build, use one resource in place of another one once per turn. So that sounds pretty amazing. So I'm going to build that there. And that's it. You put one of these things on there, Matt. Oh, what do I got to do? You put your obelisk. Oh, this goes back in the, this, does this resource go back in the bag? Yep. Yes, resource goes back in the bag when you build. Gotcha. This one goes down here. Okay, sweet. And now it is Nat's turn. This game goes pretty quick. Mm -hmm. It does. Uh, you know, it it was really designed to be a super quick, you know, get this on the table, set up and done in under 15 minutes. Uh that was 
that was one of the things I really wanted to have from the game was, you know, can I get this kind of uh, epic feeling experience and just crunch it down so that you can play uh, between ordering and having your food arrive at a restaurant if you're out to eat. Nice. Now I'm just hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to work on... I'm going to build myself a shipyard. <clears throat> That's my turn. Yeah, I'm really liking how quick it goes. Uh, what do I need to build here? Uh, you can take that. I can take the bag? Yeah. All right. So I'm going to draw some resources. Hmm. I keep these. And lumber goes to the resources. And there you go, Nat. I'm going to, I think, take that uh, wood from the general supply. Hmm. So I'm going to hopefully turn that into some coins soon. I'm going to take some more resources. Hmm. I suddenly put my entire wonder in my hand. All my buildings in my hand. It's <laughs> not what I intended to do. Hey, it's okay. I think I'm gonna. Oh man, so many choices. I think I'm gonna take the green from the supply. <coughs> Oops. Don't take it all. Emotional Cyborg, how are you doing today? Oh, sorry, John. You're still there. I'm just asking. You're working the chat? Working the chat. Yeah, Emotional Cyborg, what's up? Long time. Long time last week. I want to know what she's making. I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm selling those two uh, wood that I just took, and because I've got a shipyard, uh, I'm going to be able to get two coins for those instead oh, nice. of just one. Oh. Hmm. Snickerdoodles. Oh, that sounds amazing. Oh, <laughs> so good. It's been a while since I've had a Snickerdoodle. Emotional Cyborg, if you ever want to adopt John and I, then uh, please do. <laughs> All right, I'm going to uh, build the inn. Go from there. So when it says on uh, on here... Oh, man, my mouse is going all crazy. Um, draw two resources from the bag. Use them to build or to return. Is that when I do my build action? I can draw uh, two yes. resources? Okay. Yes. And that's it says build. And so during the build phase, that's when you do it. Awesome.
She said that she's making snickerdoodles, but mixed up sugar with citric acid. <laughs> so it's my turn, John. Yeah, go for it, dude. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna build this um, the bottom of my wonder. I have a cistern. I hope I pronounced that right. Mm -hmm. So, uh, as an action, I can draw two resources if there is no uh, knowledge in the general supply, and it is. Nat's turn. All right. Well, I think I'm going to... Well, I think I need that... Uh, that clay would probably do me well. So I'm going to take the clay from the general supply now. Cool. Throw it over here. It's a bag. Okay, I'm going build to my... Um, build my bottom thing here. And you can go, Matt. All right. Wow, we are moving quick here. Quick, quick. <laughs> Let's see here. I'm going to take the bag. Um, so as an action, draw two resources if there is no green in the supply. So how does that work, Nat? Well, again, in the uh, if this was a physical bag, you would literally just look in the bag, oh. <laughs> pull two resources, oh, man. two green resources out. <laughs> oh, okay, I, I you might see. have to uh, <laughs> might have to <laughs> dig a little bit here. Uh, that's hilarious. Okay, so I could take any two resources then, or uh, or is it two green? Uh, let me take a quick look at how uh, that's written. It's funny uh, how digital yep, has action, made it so much easier to access games, but so much harder to do the like simple things that physical games allow you to do as well. That's mm -hmm. kind of funny. Yep. The uh, digital world is not set up to let you do things that would normally be considered cheating. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you can choose uh, any two resources you want. You've got all right, I'm taking good good handful of those. Okay, taking iron. I'll try and I'll try and put the rest of these back. Right. So I I, I noticed you when you when you showed us the leader card there that it had like a a date that they were alive. Is, are they all historically accurate? Or are they just uh, made yes. of characters? Now all these, uh, um, I think you know Hannibal is uh, familiar to uh, most students of Roman history, but uh, we have uh, I forget how many leaders. I think there might be fourteen or so leaders. Let's see what we have here: ten, ten leaders okay. uh, that we chose from uh, a variety of different Mediterranean. Uh, Near East and African cultures, uh, both men and women, so that we had a uh, nice variety of people and powers here. So we've got uh, Sappho, uh, Zenobia, Ramses II. Uh, so we really tried to give a, a nice variety of actual people from history. Cool. That would be able to bring your wonder to life. Hmm. Awesome. Sorry for derailing a little bit. Nope, no worries. <clears throat> I believe it is uh, Nat's turn. Yeah. 
Aha, distracting me. <laughs> that's, a, that's a power move there. Yeah, you didn't see all me right. actually take all your pieces. <laughs> right, I'm going to build uh, some wonder stages here. And I think I'm going to build the two on the bottom left. And I'm also going to build... a black market here. Oh, and you know what, while I'm at it? Yeah, that's, that's enough. No, you know what, I'll do it, I'll do it. I'll build the other corner too. Okay. You can build as much as you can, as long as you have the resources to pay for it. Yep, you can build as much of your wonder as you want, but only one building per oh, building. Oh, okay. So you can't just uh, quickly load up all your buildings at once. But there's definitely a strategy to, you know, being able to hold off longer and make, build more of your wonder in one piece, because that's obviously going to be fewer actions and trying to do each one at a time. Nice. Uh, I'm going to use my ability on the bottom of my card here, uh, where it says I can take any two single resources from the general supply. So I'm going to take uh, an iron and a stone. All right. I guess I'm going to I'm going to build a vault which lets me hold four additional resources. So instead of 8, I can hold up to 12. Nice. Yeah, I think that's a um, good idea. That's, that's awesome. And that's going to come in handy for the, uh, what we just said there, being able to build a whole bunch of wonders at once and save the, some of those actions. Yeah, I have you to thank, Nat. You gave me an idea. <laughs> <laughs> in that case, you can't do it. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> you might have made this game, but <laughs> you can't stop me, right? I'm, I'm just going to go write that into the rules right now. <laughs> <laughs> cannot do whatever it is you're about to do. <laughs> All right, I think it's time for me to uh, draw some resources then. I like all those. I'm going to throw that blue one back. That's it. Pass the bag. I can see this being really fun. I think, is it up to eight or seven or eight players? Uh, up to six. Okay, because I can see this being pretty crazy with the hot potato aspect of passing the bag and like, oh, you can't trade now. I think that's awesome. <laughs> oh, uh, absolutely. It, uh, it, it becomes a, a very aggressive, no, I'm done with my turn already. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Um, so for my build action, like, like it says again, so it says draw two resources from the bag and use them to build or return them. If I can't use both of them, I have to return them? Yes. Okay. That's exactly it. Uh, then I... Oh, no, I can't use that. Okay. So I'm going to build. I'm going to use the wood to build this guy right here. And then I'm going to use the iron to build here. And then the clay. Whoa. Sorry, my good, uh, my mouse is like going haywire on me right now. I put, I put them in for you. Um, so for Thank me, you. I'm going to use my special ability. If there's no knowledge, I can draw t any two resources from the supply. So I'm looking for, uh, looks like, stone. So I got one stone. Oh, I'm not lucky. I'm not lucky right now. <laughs> Two stone. There we go. Oops. Oops. Mm. 
Man, I I like love Tabletopia, but I also hate it. <laughs> yeah. There you go, Nat. My mine thing's going like nuts right now. I can't oh, you need a mouse pad, John? I know. I st I stole your. You mouse took pad. my mouse pad. Where'd you, where'd you, where'd you... <laughs> no, I like. I'm not even touching it, and my screen's going like this. Oh. And like it's like I'm right clicking, and like the wheel's showing up. Battery could be dying. Mm. Oh yeah. I'm gonna use my uh, black market to exchange one of my drawn resources. Oh, nice. Let's see. Get one from my supply. I'm gonna change that orange to the green one, and then I'm gonna chew take the blue, brown, wood, and the iron. this clay over here on the general general supply should be it cool john's turn i don't know if it's uh easier for us here to leave that bag in the middle if it's uh it'll be a little smoother yeah it might be yeah it might be i'm going to uh just draw some resources here um Okay. Yeah, sorry, I can't navigate this right now. The internet is amazing. All right, you can go, Matt. If I, I can go. In here. Or are, you, are you moving the green? Oh, doesn't the green the green oh, goes sorry. back on the uh, the board? Yeah, it does. Ooh, Which no. is important because <clears throat> that is uh, helps knowledge. Is, yeah, it stops me from using my amazing ability. <clears throat> Do you happen um, to have a mouse that is connected with a wire that I can maybe use? <laughs> <laughs> Just let me take my turn and I'll, I'll bring it to you. All right, thank you. All right, so I'm going to build on. I can you actually use this ability, Lumberyard? During build, I can use one resource in place of any other uh, once per turn. So I'm going to use stone and, and iron to build two parts, and then I'm going to use the knowledge to build one of the iron parts. So I got three coming down here. And these are all going back in the bag. Technical difficulty. I'm going to build this one. This one. And this one. And it is Nat's turn while I deliver John a mouse. <laughs> Oh, thanks. All right, I'm going to produce again. Oh. Those three. I think I actually care about the clay, though. Though I also don't really want to give it up. Give me all your clay. <laughs> I'll take those three. I'll. Fine, you, you can have it. Uh, I don't even need it. <laughs> that was, thank you, though. I appreciate it. So now it's John's turn as he figures out his mouse. I got it. We're good. So, hello, hello, hello. We can hear you. Oh, okay. Okay. There's like a major delay right now. Um. So are you the one who uh, always has to remember to charge their phone on game night? No. I think there's one in every every game group. There's always the one guy that is sitting there tethered to the wall because they forgot to charge their phone that day. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess that is me. Yeah, I think that is you, John. You always you're always bringing like the 
the cord to like recharge your phone. No, the the problem is I have kids, right? So they take my phone and they try to get into it. They kill my battery. <laughs> and usually when I come to game night, it's 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 for poor bed. I gotta play them like a sleep meditation. Kids are like spoiled, man. <laughs> Aw. They're cute though. Um hold on, I just wanna see what I wanna do here. Oh, okay. All right, so I'm going to take wood. I think it just might be Tabletopia because it's still doing the same thing. Yeah, maybe. Maybe your computer's blown up. It's really hot. It's really hot? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> That's good. It's always good. <laughs> That's... All right. It, is, is that my turn then? Yeah, it's your turn, Nat. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. No worries. And see, that's that's why we have the bag to pass around. You're right. That's right. You could always use it, this. It's like, always. You could always use like a leader card or something. Oh, hey, there's there's a good idea. Those are those are a lot easier to pick up and move too. Yeah, exactly. I'm I've now been debating between whether I'm gonna uh, turn my lumber into coins or use it to build and i think i think i'm just going to turn it into coins here because even if i use the coins as lumber yeah that's what i'm going to do so i need three more coins so the coins just like a wild resource right pretty much yeah okay and then a, a couple of buildings that have a coin in their cost and so if I end up drawing really well for the rest of the game, uh, that will have been a wasted turn that I didn't need to actually turn anything into coins. So, uh, but I'm I'm hedging my bets here to make sure that I've got all the resources I'm going to need through the end of the game. All right, so is that my turn then? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, that is your turn. <clears throat> All right, I think I'm going to build. I'm going to build one, two, come on, come on, you can do it, you can do it. Are you building, John? I am, yeah. I'll, uh, second, yeah. these resources are going back in the bag. I can put them back for you. Thank you. Yeah, this is still giving the same problems regardless. I just tabletopia being awesome. We can do it. <clears throat> I can help you build, too. Are you building these? Uh, right above the where I'm building currently. Ugh. And then I was going to build a building as well. Come on. Oh, the Tabletopia. I'm not liking you right now. <laughs> there we go. Uh, my turn. I'm going to um, claim, take all resources of one type from the supply. So I'm going to take the knowledge. And it is your turn, Nat. All right. I'm going to work on building the rest of my bottom row and uh, use two of these coins to also build, to continue building. It's going to get me, uh, that'll, that's the end of my turn. 
John, you're up. Oh man, I'm not I'm even done in three. building here. <laughs> 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 All right. Um, I'm just gonna draw resources. Jesus. Oh, I guess I could have uh, used my ability. Oh well. Whoopsie. Uh, we'll keep a stone and a knowledge. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to draw resources. Lord. And I'm going to keep... Oh, man. Uh... I'll keep uh, get rid of a stone, and it's your turn, Nat. Don't. I'm. I'm just gonna grab all that stone then. I can't let three resources pass by. Oh, there's a strategy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah I that's guess so. that's it. <laughs> All right, John. I'm just going to draw some uh, resources here. going to Oops. build so I'm going to use one of these as a wild card because I have that on the lumber yard and I'm going to use uh, two green and it is <clears throat> your turn Nat while I do that all right drop those in there I'm going to produce Let's see which ones do I actually need here. I think I need all three of those. Replace one of them with one of those stones that I just took. One's going to go to the supply, and that's John's turn. Uh, all right, I'm going to grab some resources. Maybe. Oh, that's about to win. Well, you're one. You're like one, um, one away, right? Yeah. Um. He's that far ahead I'm already. Close. He is. Yeah. I'm not even paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. I'm like super far away, but John kept blocking my, my one move to like grab resources. Sucker. I'm taking these Dude, resources. Dude, I'm going to have like... That's your turn, Nat. Down in a second. <laughs> yeah, all Nat needs is like <laughs> one... I, I need... I need a blue. If I can pull a blue out of here. Oh. Move the camera instead of draw. There's a blue. Oh, there it is. Oh. Oh. So. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's cool. All right. And even though I, I there we go. I've filled up my supply, and now I've got all uh, all eight slots. And so all those extra the extra resource I could have taken. Just ended up going back into the that general supply. Awesome. Oh, you can't build yet. Next, I can't build yet. Next turn. Next right? turn. Oh. All right. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna build. Yeah, build. Yeah. Oh, you could take two. 
I'll take two resources, yeah. Well, that's not doing nothing to him. Uh, nope. Well, no. Right here. Or is that clay? That, that, no, that's wood. I think that's clay. Oh, no. Clay on the card. <laughs> okay, let's see what I can do here. I really can't do anything effectively. Hmm. Okay, I can't have Hey, Dr. Here. Wix, what's up? What's up, Dr. Wix? What, what? Brick and Brack Games, what's going on? <laughs> yeah Austin. my computer is just being ridiculous i don't know if that's austin or aaron but one of them saying uh tis coming out tis coming out oh yeah so they're referring to uh to you nat actually getting that blue you won <laughs> <laughs> oh and i'll Al drop these yeah just do it and then brick and brack games is saying just playing some nintendo nice nice what you playing there You you still choosing resources there? <laughs> no, okay. no, my my computer is going insane, so I can't even like do anything. I didn't even know you could stack cubes on the bag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what is what is this? Oh, Honestly, like hilarious. it's like go. I'm jumping up and down <laughs> on the computer screen right now. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter what I do. But uh, I'll just build this. I'll just build right here. And then it's uh, it's your turn, Nat. I'm gonna drop these. I'm gonna do my math again. I need one, two, three. F I need four blue, and I have two blue and two coins, and I need two stone, which I have one wood and one green. So that looks like I've got everything and. I'll drop them in the bag. Oh man, good job! Here, as as a loser, I will help you build your great wall. <laughs> I appreciate it. It is a it is a great wall. It I won't is because built I with can't money. Look at my screen. I'm just gonna like I'm just gonna add a couple like extra <laughs> to your to your piece. Oh yeah, look at that. This is the winning, the winning great wall over here. So this game actually seems like it's going to be a lot of fun in person. I okay, hold on. So I'm I'm going to give my thoughts right now. Um, yeah. If anyone's going to listen to what you played Wednesdays, we're probably so we we're on a podcast with Bridge City Gamers. Um, actually with a bunch of people. So yeah, they're all we'll, Canadian uh, content creators. Right, and that gets released every Wednesday. So we're definitely going to talk about this game. But I'll give everyone a little preview. I really like it. Like really, really like it. And yeah. think and think it's like actually like a really fast paced top game that could be kind of one of those hidden gems. Yep. Right? So Yeah, I've actually Well, well thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank <laughs> so you. So great oh, great job. <laughs> actually like one of the things too is just playing it. It's been it was so quick that yeah, you could definitely lay this down in game night, get in like three games within like two hours for sure. Yeah, right, which is amazing. So very very awesome. Um, so you you said you made this in two thousand fifteen. Uh, yes, it started in two thousand fifteen. Uh, back at uh, Unpub Five, I think that was. Wow. Uh, that's when I, where I first uh, showed that off and uh, was really lucky to be able to meet up with Ape Games uh, later that year. And they, they were taking a look at it and they really liked it. And, you know, they've, they've just been fantastic in uh, doing the work to make sure that you know, the graphic design is just absolutely on point. They have uh, a fantastic, fantastic artist here. <laughs> uh, Guillaume Tavernier, who uh, did the, 
the wonder art here. Uh, you know, when I saw that wonder art, uh, my eyes uh, just absolutely popped because it, it was uh, it was even better than I was expecting. Yeah, it's I it like it like really fits the game too, right? Like the art is so it's nice. Like when I look at it, it's like just nice. Oh, perfect. yeah, I like all the art on the, uh, like, the Wonder cards are really nice. Do you have a favorite card, Nat? Oh, I I think it was the Labyrinth that I looked at. How many Wonder cards are there in the game? Uh, that is a good question. I... I had designed somewhere between 20 and 30 at various uh, stages of the game. Uh, and I think in the current version, I'll reference back the rules, there are 14 uh, wonder cards that have actually made it into this version. Wow. So, oh, yeah, the labyrinth does look really cool. Yeah, that is super neat. Is there any, like, um, wonder that's harder to build? Or are they all generally pretty balanced? So a few of these are a little more complex or a little uh, less complex. You can see at the, whoop, where's my mouse going? Okay. <laughs> oh, John's. Uh, at the bottom of each wonder, uh, it describes, you know, when, what the wonder is, where it is, uh, when it was built. Uh, and it has a little icon there that's a one, two, or three. Okay. Uh, and those generally relate to the threes are a little bit more complex. You know, it's still all balanced uh, to each other, but the threes, the only real difference is that the, uh, the powers on the threes or how you have to build them is maybe slightly more complex. Oh, like, this, like, like this three... I can I can show everyone. Has uh three parts, right? Oasis one, Oasis two, and Oasis three. Yes. So gotcha. there you have to actually go across the desert to uh build all those buildings. Uh it's they're they're great when you have them built, but you know, that's certainly if you're just starting off the game, you know, it's a lot easier to look at something like, let's pull out Alexandria here, which I saw had a one on, you know, really easy to understand how to use that building and when to use it. When you build it, you take four resources you want. You know, that's mm -hmm. great. What, whenever I need it, I can get four of, uh, four of a kind. Uh, and something over here like the palace, where you're trading five resources for four coins, you know, four coins uh, can be very valuable in the right circumstances. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, you have a couple. But, Sorry, go ahead, Nat. I was going to say you have a couple questions okay. in chat once you're done. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just to, to close that out, it you know, it's it's a little harder to know when and how to use some of the uh the powers on the three compared to the the one level wonders but other than that you know very very similar power levels mm -hmm. awesome. so in in chat first we have uh emotional cyborg says uh the art on this is great which mm -hmm. i totally agree it's amazing um dr wick says uh, actually there's two questions for uh part one what is the biggest change since the initial development of the game and part two oh. what part of the game experience do you cherish the most the biggest change i would say is probably the uh, adding in the leaders they weren't part of the my very original design but playing it a bunch of times at different places, different conventions. Uh, one of the pieces of feedback that came back and that the, event the uh, publisher eventually asked me to come back and revisit was being able to have 
something in there that would let you really just uh, mix up the game uh, when you're in the middle and have kind of a big surprise move, giving you an opportunity for kind of uh, an exciting, unexpected play. And uh, I think that has really, you know, I, I love just the, the basic game of this without the leaders in it. But, you know, you throw them in there and all of a sudden you have to be balancing not only whether you're going to have enough resources to build your wonder and whether you want to call out your leader, but also whether you have enough resources held back just in case somebody else wants to call out their leader and make a big jump forward. So there's a, a little bit more of a game of cat and mouse uh, that I think really elevates the, that strategic aspect to the next level. Mm -hmm. And uh, remind me what the second half of the question was. The, sec the second question, second question was, was uh, what part of the game's experience do you cherish the most as a designer? That This actually comes from a designer, so it's kind of a cool <laughs> question. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm very familiar with uh, Dr. Witt. Oh, are they you were, really? Uh, oh, that's oh, yeah, they were uh, a huge help on uh, my first game, New Bedford. They gave several pieces of feedback at, I think, really the very first uh, time I had taken out in public. Wow. That really turned that game around for me. So there. They, uh, Austin was actually demoing um, Robotech Reconstruction with us and Jason awesome. from Dyson Dragons last week on on the show. So small world, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I, I saw that they uh, were coming out with that, and I was uh, super excited for them. It's a very good game, too. You definitely need to try it when you have a chance. Absolutely. Uh, the, the part of the game that I cherish the, the most uh, as a designer uh, is honestly the just being able to play it so quickly i love really like we were saying uh being able to take that bag quickly pass it on to the next person and uh, play out your turn uh and there's when you're really humming along in the middle of the game there's very little downtime you've got just enough time to figure out what you're going to do with your resources on your next turn and then all of a sudden it's your turn again uh and so that's you know, i i love that feeling of really uh, making quick progress. Yeah, I, I feel like the downtime between your turn is not very long. Even no. even on Tabletopia, where the downtime on a turn could be like two to three times as long, I felt like I'm like, oh, wow, this is going really fast. So yeah, I could definitely see a game being like 10, you know, 15 to 20 minutes for sure, very easily. Mm-hmm. I think that that's awesome, especially like I think downtime between a turn is really cool. So, or, or, or it's it's a thing that most you know a lot of games don't necessarily have that. And this game, it's actually pretty thinky. <laughs> it has a lot yeah. of thought to it, but it's pretty quick too, which is cool. Yeah, I, I definitely tried to do that from the start with you know, kind of unloading those decisions to be decisions you can make off your turn. All right, am I going to need to produce next turn? Am I going to need to? build next turn and then once it's your turn very quick very simple to just execute what you need to do and not have to sit there and think too long about all right which of these resources where exactly am i going to spend them do i have enough to move forward so you can kind of take each turn as it comes mm -hmm. yeah i really like like i don't know it was just a lot of fun and I really had a great time playing it today, even though my computer so I was jumping on a trampoline the <laughs> no, entire time. You know, but... you, Nat, John, we, we had I mean, no I, technical I difficulties. <laughs> <laughs> no technical difficulties, I swear. Yeah, we had um, uh, Bjorn Eckenberg on, and it, that was that was the craziest thing because we yeah. we actually I don't know I guess I'll I'll just say it we, we didn't give we didn't exchange Discord. <laughs> so we, he was waiting at his discord and we were waiting at ours you know it was bad oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's real bad hey but those are that you learn right those are just learning experiences so i i feel uh like i'm uh about 200 uh, better equipped for uh 
Tabletopia and Discord uh, <laughs> after tonight. So uh, that was that part of it was also very valuable for me. Yeah. We're 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 like uh, Friday Night Games is like a test stream. Yeah, <laughs> we, we work on all the kinks, and then you uh, then you go to the you get unleashed in the real world. You know, yeah. <laughs> you should charge for that. <laughs> yeah. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> how much uh how much how much do you think we were worth <laughs> like a dollar uh, you know, as, a, as a game designer uh a, a huge portion of my uh my game design income would would go towards that service so that's like two bucks nice yeah, nice yeah yeah i'll take it <laughs> alex says we're a specialty tre- streaming service <laughs> that's our niche our niche clients all all right, so One Card Wonder is going to hit Kickstarter April, April 20th. 20th, you said? April 20th. Nice. Yep. Dutch or English auction, <laughs> says Dr. Wills. Um, <laughs> Dutch. <laughs> Sorry, so... No, never go Dutch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, okay, so one, so this game, One Card Wonder mm-hmm. by Ape Games and designed by Nat LeVan this is going to which is that on the stream um so this is going to hit kickstarter april 20th uh so definitely check it out uh i really like it john really likes it and you did a fantastic john that uh demoing and showing us how to play so that was amazing so thank you a for being on the show thank you for having me awesome and um so just a little bookkeeping for me and john uh, this Friday, we're releasing a stream actually on based on Tabletopia. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> and Tabletop Simulator. And we kind of talk about our stresses and what we like about it and yeah. where it might go in the future. So definitely check that out. Um, yeah. Uh, next week, we are taking the week off. Right. Uh, so we won't have a stream next week. We're going to be filming some stuff for our YouTube channel. So hopefully, next week we some won't more be on. animation. So, so yeah. All right, thanks again, Nat. We appreciate it. Uh, if you guys want to check us out. Thank you guys very much. Sorry? Thank you guys very much. Thank you. Uh, if you guys want to check us out, our socials are on the bottom, websites on the top. You can uh, check us out there. And, uh, yeah, so check out uh, One Card Wonder on you on YouTube. <laughs> on uh, Kickstarter on April 20th. And best of luck uh, during the campaign. Yeah, definitely. Uh, definitely, let us know when it launches. Um, we'll, if anyone is interested, we'll share a link on our socials, on all our socials. So, and Moshal Cyberg says thanks for sharing the school game. Yes, and Doctor Witt says thank you, everybody. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. <laughs> all right, everyone. Thank you all. See you, everybody. Have an awesome night. Good night. Bye bye.